All right, folks, my favorite time of the week, unboxing and Amp Dino time. Got another one for you here today. Um, this is the VFL Audio VFL Comp 2K. 2,000 watts at, R, at 1 ohm RMS rated. This is an amp that's produced by American Bass. Um, some of you might remember the last American Bass amp I did, their Phantom 4000. Uh, didn't exactly perform as expected. So I had a couple of people reach out to me, no, nobody from American Bass, you know, this is, this is still all me. I paid for this amp and everything else. Uh, but I had a couple people go to me and say, hey, you know, VFL Audio um, is American Bass's upscale line now. Um, or at least that's how they're marketing it. Um, they're saying the amps are made in Korea, um, at least the comp line is, um, that they're good value, and man, they do what they're supposed to. And so I said, cool. I used to like the American Bass line for my last test. Um, nothing against them still. Um, I just was surprised. They are a brand that's been around for a long time, and I figured maybe that other amp's an anomaly, so let's, let's give their next amp out, all right? Um, let's dig right in. So, and we open one box, we get another box. Okay, let's, let's get open the old box cutter here. Put there, put there. They really don't want to make it easy on me today. Oh, and there we are. Let's get this other box out of the way. Too many boxes. So we have an amplifier. comes with your VFL audio manual and you can see in here let's see if we got the ratings yeah. let's see it CPUs ratings connections Does not say what's rated in the uh, in here. At least not that I could quickly tell. Sorry for that boring punch through. This is my first time opening this. Um, you have, unlike the other amp that we did, we have your remote base knot cable. I don't see a slave switch in here. We have your Allen keys, and in here is your remote base knot. Trust me on that. So, already better off than the other amplifier that didn't put any of that stuff. And uh, that amp was 224 bucks shipped. This one is 260, roughly 258. So this one's already a better deal. Um, so, as we said here, um, this is designed in the USA, made in Korea. Here's your VFL comp. This is a lot heavier amp than the other one. This is a lot bigger. I uh, don't have my tape measure handy, otherwise I would give you the dimensions. You have dual, or I shouldn't say dual, you have zero gauge inputs here for your power wire. Your remote wire is right here. And of course you have your eight gauge speaker terminals. So that is a lot better designed than the fan. And of course over in here, a lot more options for you. Of course you have your inputs and your outputs if you want to daisy chain amplifiers and not um, not link them. Over here you have your slave input and output um, if you want to link the amps connect two on to one. Um, you have your gain here that's adjustable from 8 volts to 0.2 volts. Your subsonic filter which is adjustable to 50 Hertz your bass boost which gives you up to nine decibels you have your remote and your low pass filter which is adjustable from 35 hertz to 250 hertz and your phase so 
pretty nice and again as we discussed it's made in Korea so pretty heavy amplifier I I already think we've got a better shot with this bad boy than we did with the uh, the Phantom um, if you recall the Phantom did um, just under 1400 watts certified uh, a little over 1500 watts uncertified and uh, 1800 watts dynamic uh, again this one is rated at 2000 watts at 1 ohm RMS um, it already looks more capable than the Phantom so only one thing to do let's hook her up let's see what we get out of this VFL comp 2k model let's see if we can meet and beat 2,000 watts. seen the final test results um, to say I'm disappointed with this amp is a huge 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 understatement um, you know I gave American bass slash BFL audio the benefit of the doubt um, you know everyone's got their budget lines I thought for sure that okay maybe the phantom lines were overrated um, but yeah, if you're going to put out a competition model, and that's what this class is supposed to be, they're VFL comps. Um, this is supposed to be for competitors. These are for people who want higher quality amplifiers. Um, I would expect that to come with the ratings that are accurate. Um, you know, this isn't a Chinese made amp, this is a Korean made amp. Um, they write right on here designed in the USA and they put it to comp model over here and you know quite frankly um, it, it has all the looks that you're looking for in a high grade amplifier it's heavy it looks it's built it, it's built tough I mean this is you know it's got a thick heat sink it doesn't feel flimsy in your hands um, it's got the zero gauge inputs. It's got the eight gauge outputs. Um, you can strap them, everything else. It looks like this is the real deal, but it's not. Um, it's a 1500 watt amplifier in disguise. They say it's a 2000 watt amplifier. None of my tests that I get 2000 watts. Even the dynamic test, which people always put as a little suspect as a way of testing RMS because it's a really, really short burst. Um, it's really even too short to even call it a burp. You know, it's just like burp, burp, you know, um, if you ever listen to it. So, you know, I, I, you, everyone goes by the certified number. This is a 1500 watt amp. Um, it did just a little under that on the dyno. I'll give it benefit of the doubt and maybe you can do it. Um, it, it did a little over 1500 and they're uncertified. I'm just, I'm very disappointed. You know, I really, really, really had hopes for this amp. Um, and again, I mean, for 260 bucks, what I paid, it was like, hey, you know, I mean, the, could someone find themselves a real nice deal? Um, they don't for a 2001 amplifier. Um, getting a Korean kind of high quality, maybe you know, I know VFL is um, newer in the market. I mean, I know American bass has been around for a long time, but they're trying to 
branch off as a higher quality line, and that's what VFO Audio is. Um, I was hoping maybe someone's gonna catch a budget amp, or a, I shouldn't say a budget amp, but a high quality amp for not a lot of money. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's not. Um, it, it's a high quality, it, it, it's a probably, it's a decent 1500 watt amp, but it's not a 2000 watt amp. And it's a straight up lie. Um, you can find 2000 watt amps for around this price. Um, you know, I mean, hell, you could find better 1500 watt amps at this price. Um, you know, I've tested some. The Orion XTR does more power than this, and it's less money. So, can I recommend this amp? Well, um, no, I can't. I can't recommend this amp. Um, if you're looking for a 1500 watt amp, you don't mind what it says on the box, knock yourself out. It's probably decent, you know? It's a Korean made board, it's used in other amplifiers. In fact, you know, I'll tell you right now, um, you, you can find the SCAR Audio right now version of this, which is their SKV2 1500.1D. So they rate it accurately. Um, it's the exact same amp, different heat sink, and you can find that for less money than this. Um, the Orion XTR is less money. Um, the Belva I tested, which was overrated, but still, that does more, more power than this. And it's way less money. So, you know, American Bass, the VFL Audio, you know, you lied to me again. I can't recommend your brand for amplifiers right now um, because you're not telling the truth on the box. People don't know what they're getting. Um, until you show me something that says that these amps were not even, I know this amp won't do it. I know that Phantom won't do it. Until you show me something that can do what it says on the box, not up recommending you at all, you know? Um, you know, I, I would say don't buy one unless you see the amp dyno and you're comfortable with what you're getting. Um, regardless if it's me or if it's someone else that's doing it, it you know, I can't test their whole line. Um, 2,000 watts about is, you know, probably close to as big as I can test, so I'm not testing a 3K, a 5K, a 18K, or a 20K. Um, this is it for me, and I'm done. I am done testing American Bass slash VFL Audio Amps. Um, they're 0 for 2, 0%. See you later, guys.